Hello, my name is Bonka Georgieva and I'm a project manager at Consorzio per Valutazioni Biologiche e Farmacologiche, which is an Italian not-for-profit research organization. In this presentation, we'll briefly cover what is project monitoring and why it's so important, and also the definition, development and ways of measurement of key performance indicators or KPIs. What is project monitoring? Project monitoring is an important phase of project management as it helps in realigning activities with project aims. Once the project implementation phase gets underway, the project monitoring and controlling phase also kicks in. This parallel stage keeps the project on track and lined up with its initial purpose, allowing teams to correct the course of their research projects where necessary. During this phase, project managers need to juggle several responsibilities responsibilities, including keeping to schedule, staying within budget, avoiding scope creep, and managing risks. Why monitoring is so important? Monitoring is a continuous and systematic process of data collection. It generates factual information for future evaluation and impact assessment and helps identify actual implementation problems. Collecting data on project progress helps you to avoid making assumptions, for instance, and allows you for a better decision making. It improves project performance and customer contractor stakeholder relations. Without a monitoring process put in place, it's also easy to find yourself unable to track down the cause of a problem. When to define your KPIs? During your planning phase, where you define your project objectives, results and activities, you may also have established a series of checkpoints or milestones for your project. Quantifiable measures like this used to evaluate the success of your project are called key performance indicators. As part of the monitoring process, KPIs are defined early in the project and are undertaken during the whole project duration as a systematic method based on revising and in-depth analysis. This applies to research and innovation processes regardless of the nature of research. What to know about KPIs? The term KPI can be dissected as following. Key, a great contributor to the success or failure of the project. A KPI is not just an ordinary metric. It can make or break a project. Performance defines a metric that can be quantified, adjusted, measured and controlled. In order to improve performance, the metric must be controllable. Indicator. It has the ability to clearly represent the present and the future performance. KPIs should also be balanced between qualitative and quantitative measures, leading and lagging indicators and project inputs and outputs, which allow managers to track project progress during and after the completion of a project activity. What to know in defining your KPIs? In order to develop your research project KPIs, a comprehensive correlation between objectives, activities and results should be established allowing for identifying measures to support achieving the project objectives. The following requirements should be considered when developing your KPIs. The KPIs should comply with the particular characteristics of your research project. They should rely on clearly identified and rate measures. The KPIs should support implementing project activities and achieving project objectives. They should reflect only available and tangible data. The KPIs should allow for re-evaluation and further improvement. The KPIs should impact the results of your project's activities. In conclusion, let's see three main ways of analysis of KPIs. Once you've selected your KPIs, you can use one or more of the following ways of analysis. Reports. Reports are the most common and simple way of presenting KPIs. They offer an easy to read, classic, yet deep overview of the project progress. Dashboards. Dashboard provides uh, the project manager with an overview of the key information in an intuitive and insightful manner. Dashboards are powerful communication tools that help convey results from KPIs. When properly implemented, dashboards can be very effective. Scorecards. 
primarily used for aligning operational execution to the business strategy. Scorecards belongs in the most of the business decision-making spectrum. Thank you for the attention.